I wanted to talk a bit about posture and anxiety and my thoughts on how they are related. So I want to preface this by saying I'm certainly no expert on anything, um, but definitely not an expert on anxiety, but I am somebody who lives with kind of chronic anxiety. I definitely go through ups and downs, sometimes are um, better than others, but I don't know quite what happened to me, but as I became an adult, um, I've just become more and more anxious. I'm dealing with it all in my own way, and this is not a therapy session, but I'm sort of making this video because I want you to know that I am not speaking um, about this as if I don't uh, experience it and understand it myself. I am somebody for who for, I guess, probably nearing 10 years now, um, has lived always in a kind of like chronic, high functioning anxiety most of the time, although not always. I tend to have burnouts that debilitate me and then I come back and then I start buzzing and whirring and um, just being on the edge all of the time. So yeah, I understand what anxiety is like, definitely. And I don't know if that surprises people uh, or if, <laughs> if you can just tell my manic energy um, from watching my videos and things like that. But um, yeah, I know what anxiety is like, although I'm not an expert on the science, whatever, behind it. I know that sleeping more helps. I know that trying to reduce stress helps. I know that getting outside helps. Staying away from technology helps, changing my diet and eating healthily helps, prioritising self-care. You've got all these different things that you can do um, to try and mitigate what is a symptom of a problem. You know, anxiety is not a problem in itself. Anxiety is a symptom of a wider issue. You're, somehow your needs, your human needs are not being met. And therefore, it's presenting itself as anxiety. And in my opinion, it's the world that we live in is so inhuman. We are so switched on. We're so tuned into technology. We're eating all the wrong foods. We're absorbed by screens. We're not outside and decompressing and grounding ourselves um, into the earth. We've got all of these reasons why I believe that anxiety is so prevalent. But what I wanted to talk about in this video is how important and integral posture and movement is with helping with anxiety and it's kind of twofold and chicken and egg so the more you are anxious and nervous the more your body is just stuck in this rigid pattern of being anxious and nervous if you are always breathing badly and tense and stressed that will feed into your physical body um, you know, you will be holding yourself like this all the time because that's what your nervous system is like telling your body to do. So having anxiety or being anxious will physically manifest in your body and how you move. But on the flip side, how your body and how you move or lack thereof with movement will also feed into anxiety. And what I have found as someone who personally suffers from anxiety is that when I prioritise my posture exercises and doing movement that feels really good to me and tuning into my breathing, it can really change my anxious state. So when we become anxious and we get lost in our head and we say that we're too busy and we're too switched on to do things to look after ourselves, I personally don't really believe that's true. It's your anxiety talking. It's like the beast is talking. And one of the best things that you can do for yourselves is do even just 10 minutes of some form of exercise that feels good for you. And when we're talking exercise, we're not talking squats and lunges and jumping jacks and all that stuff because that high intensity exercise um, makes you feel worse. I mean, again, I'm not an expert. I'm talking from, from my own experience here. If I'm in an anxious state, workouts in a typical way are just not what my body needs. They compound my issues with my breathing. 
they make me feel more tense and they just make me feel more on edge because I've shot my body with all of that cortisol and all that stress and that adrenaline. It's actually just winding me up and up and up. And the type of exercise that we need when we're in those types of anxious states are, are breathing, yoga, decompression, posture exercises. So your posture exercises can just really help bring you down a level and start feeling less anxious, which is great. But also the better posture that you have, and hopefully at this point, you guys realize that we're not talking about just pulling your shoulders back. That's not having good posture. That's you artificially yanking your shoulders back. But by having good posture, which basically means better movement patterns all over your body, everything inside of your body will just be able to sit and work with more ease. So by balancing off your pelvis, balancing off your rib cage, having open hips, having open shoulders and chest, having a head that sat where it needs to be sat, it means that your internal organs can do their jobs better, more efficiently. We're crazy if we don't think that the function of our hormones or the function of our breathing or our blood flow or our digestive system is not impacted by the house in which they live. If you have a twisted pelvis, if you have tight hips, it's going to impact your digestive system. I have many clients who report that when they start working on their posture, things like IBS, um, bladder control issues, prolapses, things like that start feeling better because there's more harmony physically in that part of their body. When your rib cage can expand more and is balanced and lifted, you will experience better um, respiratory function, you know, how your lungs feel. That added respiratory function leads into how you feel in your head, the clarity of your thoughts and um, stress and all those types of things. So posture not only helps to deregulate your kind of nervous system in that time of fight or flight, but it also helps prepare your body physically to be in an all round better state, which improves the function of all of the systems in your body. I don't have scientific studies uh, to quote here for you. I don't really believe in scientific studies, if I've got to be honest, because in my opinion, it's whoever's funding it gets the answer or the results that they want. So I'm very hesitant to even bother really looking at scientific studies because I think you can find one that says one thing and you find thing that find something that uh, sort of says the other side. But what I am a believer in is logic, common sense and lived anecdotal evidence that I get from people. So I don't need a scientific study to tell me that this makes sense. It just makes sense. If your body is more balanced physically, everything within your body is going to run more harmoniously. And then the kind of last thing that I want to touch upon with posture and anxiety, I've sort of said deregulating nervous system and just generally speaking, having a better physical um, position to allow for all the systems in your body to work more harmoniously. But lastly, so much anxiety is caused by worry over how bad you feel. So I am used to dealing with very anxious, nervous people who have spiraled because every single day they're having to live with this burden of how bad their back pain is, how bad their hip pain is, when are they going to have to have their knee replacement operation? How much pain are they going to be in during their working day? Will their back go when they bend over to pick something up from the floor? Being in pain, even a little bit, is going to add to your anxiety levels. It's just another thing to deal with uh, that you don't want to deal with. And obviously this is a sliding spectrum. Um, but if you're not dealing with your pain in the early stages of it being bad, all you're doing is creating longer and longer periods of anxiety for yourself and worry. It's such a burden to be worried and anxious all day, every day. And there are certainly things that will happen in your life that means that you are going to have periods where anxiety and stress is worse. But please don't let your body be one of those things. You and your body want to be on the same team. And that is absolutely what posture exercises can do. Posture exercises will help you and your body work together 
so that your life is just better in all sorts of ways rather than your body and your brain feel, feeling like they're on two different teams. If you are not able to find the time to look after your body, your body somewhere down the line is going to force you to find time to look after it. So please, if this does nothing else for you today, watching this video, when you finish watching it, give yourself 10 minutes in static back. You can look at that somewhere on my YouTube if you don't know what static back is. Focus in on your breath, breathe into it, relax and let go. And I bet you, you will feel at least 10% better at the end of 10 minutes in a position that will calm your nervous system, restore some balance and take away pain. And the more that you can take away pain yourself, um, rather than relying on somebody else to give you a steroid injection or crack you into place, the more that you are autonomous and able to do things that take your own pain away, the more confident you will become, the more you will just be that person that you are deep down beneath. So I hope this was helpful. And yeah, I'd be interested to know your thoughts on how intertwined posture and anxiety are for you because I know that they are definitely intertwined. And when I'm looking after myself and looking after posture and prioritizing movements, my anxiety is so much better.